Hi everyone, welcome back to science. I'm Miss Catherine, and today is a very exciting day because we are starting chapter three. And I always get excited at this point in our unit because it means we are so close in answering our questions and figuring out our problem for the unit. So let's get started today with lesson 3.1. As always, you will need a pen or a pencil and some paper. And if you have access to Amplify online, that would be great. Um, we also are going to be reading an article today called Carbon in the Global Ecosystem. So if you have access to a printed copy of that article from your school or your school district, um, have that with you as well. Otherwise, you can access it in Amplify online or you can follow along with me as I read. And here is your click path again to find us here today in lesson 3.1 and pause the video and set up that paper with our heading and our lesson 3.1 title. All right, so we have a brand new email um, to us, our, uh, our student ecologists. Uh, from Dr. Brian Quarry that says one more assignment. Um, so let's, let's read what he has to say. Great work, student ecologists. The Econauts had not realized that a change in the population of decomposers could have such a dramatic effect on the other organisms in the biodome. Before they plan their next biodome, they have one more question they want to know what happened to the carbon that used to be in the air of the biodome. We know that the decrease in the decomposer population caused the carbon dioxide in the air of the biodome to decrease, but the Econauts need to know what happened to all that carbon. This is your last mission for the biodome investigation team, so we're hoping you give it your best. So in this last chapter of our unit on matter and ecology, um, I'm sorry, matter and energy in ecosystems, we are gonna focus on this question. What happened to the carbon that used to be in the air of the biodome? So what happened to that abiotic carbon matter um, that's found in the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide? Remember that carbon um, is really important to two processes um, that the living things within our uh, biodome conduct. So photosynthesis is that process by which plants take in energy from sunlight, they take in carbon and carbon dioxide from the air, and they take in water to produce those ever important energy storage molecules which again contain carbon. And those energy storage molecules are important because that is how all of the living things, including the plants, um, get their energy to perform these processes um, and to grow and live and reproduce and survive. And carbon also showed up in cellular respiration um, as these living things are uh, producing that energy that they need. Um, and in this process, they're taking in carbon in the form of an energy storage molecule along with oxygen um, to produce that energy and also release carbon again in the form of carbon dioxide into the air as well as water. And this carbon in the air and this carbon in our energy storage molecules are really important to our mission of figuring out what happened to the Econauts biodome because our carbon in the air was decreasing over time. And the carbon in the form of energy storage molecules was also decreasing because our plants and our animals didn't have enough of them in order to survive. So overall, if our Econauts want to build a better biodome, they need to know not just why this one collapsed, but also where that carbon went um, so they can track it better in their new biodome. 
So let's do some reflection on what we figured out right now and warm up our brain a little bit around this mystery of the missing carbon. Um, so when you're ready, I'd like you to pause the video and either on your paper or in activity one, if you're following along in Amplify Online, um, and answer this question. What do you think happened to the carbon that used to be in the air of the biodome? 